Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomítko schedule. The Prime Minister told him, Your Majesty, I also don't think there is any trouble if I should tell you all the truth. Because the God that uh, takes care of this land has always prayed very hard to ask God to grant us every year one new king. So God has listened to our prayers. First, every year, every 12 months, has has sent us one like you. Please keep watching to find out more. I want to have compassion for all beings, not just human beings. So to not eat animals is a massive part of that as far as being Buddhist. Derek Sarno Vegan. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic. Olas, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgaria, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Comment allez-vous means how are you in French, one of the official languages of Niger. My name is Jepson. Looking at the brilliant stars in the night sky, the poetic people of Niger are reminded of the beauty of your souls. Niger is a vibrant West African nation that enables seven other African countries. In Niger's northern lands are the Ayir mountains and valleys, along with the wind sculpted Sahara Desert of the Tenere region. Toward the south are wide plains and greener lands, especially near the bountiful Niger River. To protect the flora and fauna people of these unique areas, the Ayo and the Tenere Natural Reserves, as well as the Liu National Park, have been created. Among the people of the wildlife kingdom that find their homes in these reserves are the rare Nigerian giraffe people and the critically endangered Dama people and the Rim gazelle people. The nation's treasured cultural heritage is represented in Agadez, whose historic center is inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Known as the Gateway of the Sahara, Agadez has been constructed using a remarkable mud brick architecture. Even the city's Grand Mosque has a tall mud brick minaret. The rich mosaic of Nigerian tradition is a result of the many diverse ethnic groups that populate the nation. The 
despite their different backgrounds, the people of Nigeria all come together through their faith in Islam and devout Muslim practice. The Yama Mosque in Tawa, built and maintained by the entire community, is an example of this unified devotion. It was a joy to introduce the spectacular Niger to you, companionate viewers. May the wind send divine messages to your hearts. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. As a fully enlightened master, she imparts the Quan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the circle of transmigration. The Quan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Chen Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your journey, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Lucy Peace Prize considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored two other years with the numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your journey, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal people friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions what the humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world, where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, loving heart, vegan food companies, vegan fair products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discussions with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. On Sunday, December 12, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled One Year King Part 6 of 9 on Between Master and Disciples held in English on December 12, 2021. <laughs> Còn mưa xuống như hôm nào em đến thăm mây âm thầm mang gió lên. So finally, I thought I have to read the Jewish book. Yes, yes master. Now this story is called One Year King. Uh, long time ago, long, 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 long time ago, <laughs> <laughs> there was a person who was very rich and very generous. Uh, what, 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 my eyeglasses, magic eyeglasses. Wow, aren't we lucky nowadays that we even have eyeglasses to read, yeah? Mm. Yes. 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 Uh, in the ancient times, in my age, maybe I could read no more. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma, when she was my age, I always had to read stories for her, books for her that she liked, yeah? Mm. She could not read. She didn't have the glasses. A long, long time ago, there was a person who was very rich and very generous. He had a slave who was very, very loyal to him. And uh, in return, this rich man was also very, very uh, loving and kind to him. So kind, so loving to him to the extent that he was thinking, calculating that. Uh, why don't I make him a different slave than any other slave so that his life will never be in need anymore from today? Mm. No more uh, hardship anymore from today. Ah, he thought, and then he did. He uh, returned freedom to him. And then he also gave him many goods to sell in the other country. Yeah. And then he even rented a big ship for him so that he can go to the foreign land to sell all this uh, merchandise that he has gifted to him. Wow. wow. What a nice owner, huh? Yes. yes. Nice owner. The best is that we don't have slaves anymore. 
Yeah, but at least this guy is very nice, huh? Oh, yes, 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 master. yes, master. And then he even said, best wishes to you. All peace and good and love and God will be with you. Wow. Good wish, huh? Mm. Yes, yes, master. And then the slave bow and prostrated in front of his old owner and then went on to the ship to go away. While he was still on the ship, on the ocean, suddenly from the north, a big wind built up into a storm. And then it blew the ship, of course, and then into the shore where then a lot of sharp stones. And then, of course, the ship became broken into a thousand pieces. Mm -hmm. All the sailors are dead, mm -hmm. drown and die. Only him, the slave, was still alive. By the grace of God, he grabs onto a piece of wood and then this wood has been, I would say, uh, the wave. Oh my God, how can I even forget English now? <laughs> <laughs> the wave pushed that piece of uh, wood onto a wide island. All the goods, all the merchandise drowned together with all the other people into the depth of the sea. Mm. And then he alone just lay there all by himself on top of uh, the the sand uh, shore many days, many nights, until his bruised and almost broken body slowly regained consciousness. After he became strong again, he saw himself in a die, hopeless situation trying hard to survive. He began walking, and then suddenly he saw a path, you know, a worn path, meaning somebody has been walking on it. So he was so happy, happy. He saw some human footprints. Wow, wouldn't you be happy? <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> In such a desperate situation, he even saw human uh, footprints. Okay. So he follow these uh, footprints one day in one night. And then suddenly he saw a uh, citadel a little far away. When he almost got there, he was very surprised to see all the people from that uh, city run, 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 run out to welcome him. <laughs> and all the leaders I mean, all the governors and majors of all the cities keep calling everybody to come. Hear you, hear you. <laughs> <laughs> look here, look here. Uh, please, look. Our king has arrived. God has sent us a king. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was so happy, happy, and... Uh, nail down and, and clap hands in the air or, or whatever. He's saying, long live the king, long live the king, long live the king. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. And then this slave was carried all the way to a very, very glorious palace. Wow. Oh. Have you read this story? No, no, no. no so You don't sound surprised to me. <laughs> Even I'm surprised, even though I read it already, I forgot, now I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I don't, don't remember anything. I read it before, I mean, two years ago, when the pandemic began or something. Um, when I first began the retreat, yeah, mm. I had some time to read because I had nothing else. <laughs> no television, nothing at that time. Huh. In retreat, I am not supposed to watch TV or anything. Even at that time, I didn't even have the news, nothing. Right. So I read the books, I would prepare. I thought one day I'd come out and read to everyone. And then I forgot already what it is like. 
<laughs> Surprise. <laughs> and then they clean him up and then put the shining purple clothes on him, dress him with purple clothes, uh, a royal robe, and then put a crown on top of his head and then put him on a gold throne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was <laughs> perplexed. <laughs> yeah? yeah. As he sat down. He just sat down and was still perplexed. He saw many of the uh, mayors of the cities and the chief of those tribes and many other people who all came to him one by one and swore loyalty to him. Oh. Oh. Mm. Just like servants are loyal to their owner. Wow. Mm. Seeing all this glorious honor for him, the new king <laughs> used his hand to rub his eyes <laughs> to see whether or not he's looking correctly. <laughs> and then he was thinking to himself, I think I'm sleeping. <laughs> I think I'm dreaming. It's only a dream. It's only a dream. But day after day, eh? He's still the king of that land, mm. you know, yeah. and many rituals and many courtesy and all kinds of arrangements for kings still continue. Oh. So he knew that he is a king, really. Yeah. yeah. But he's still questioning himself. But what have I done that I would merit this kind of position? Ah, this must be some kind of trial. Testing, that's what he was thinking. But the king, well, he's a king. <laughs> he called his prime minister to come and ask him, would you please tell me, what is it about me that you and many leaders and all your uh, citizens here make me a king? And then how long will I be able to reign this way? The Prime Minister told him, Your Majesty, I also don't think there is any trouble if I should tell you all the truth. Because the God that uh, takes care of this land has always prayed very hard to ask God to grant us every year one new king. So God has listened to our prayers. First, every year, every 12 months, has, has sent us one, like you. Whenever that person arrives, all of us, from officials to the normal citizens, we will run out and welcome him, as you have witnessed. And then this person would be treated with all kinds of royalty, and then make him king. <laughs> That's simple. But this king will be able to reign only one year. After one year, he will be driven out of the royal palace. Oh. Oh. All his royal clothes will be stripped from him. And then he will be given a rags to wear. Oh. Wow. And then given to the army. Oh. oh. And then the shoulders will bring him to the shore of the sea, put him on a boat, and take him to a wild island oh, wow. mm. to be exiled there. And then it continues like that. <laughs> nghe tiếng ru cuộc đời đó có bao lâu mà hững hờ cuộc đời đó có bao lâu vegan to return to the kingdom of god tomorrow on between master and disciples.
So this is a story that reminds us that there is not just this world that exists. We will live it. No matter how rich we are, we will live. Because we've been toiling all our lifetime just to earn our comfort living or richness. But then we will have to live it with nothing and alone. I guess yes, yes, and don't even know what fate awaits to us. Humble viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled One Year King Part 6 of None on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecies of the Golden Age, Part 176, Islamic Prophecies about the Messiah at the Hour, right after Newtworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May our sincere prayers for a vegan world be heard and come true soon. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.